Uh, I'm going to share some words with you guys. When I think about uh, growth, I think about cultivating things, about getting the soil ready, right? About getting the soil ready. Uh, Thomas, you've done a great job in cultivating, buddy. You wooed and you won this girl to you, right? I mean, you had to work hard, all right? Because, I, I mean, look at her. She is beautiful, stunning. And, um, and I look at you and I think, you worked hard. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> It was Halloween night. We were all in grade 11, and myself, Haley, and Kayla were all hanging out at my parents' house. And the plan was to just scare some kids <laughs> and eat some candy. Um, but Kayla and I were troublemakers, and we wanted to go to, to a house party. Um, Haley did not, but Kayla and I don't take no for an answer, so we forced her to go with us to this trashy little grade 11 house party. Um, we threw on some questionable costumes. We dressed Kayla head to toe in purple, and she just went as a purple monster. And somewhere in this dark basement, <laughs> Kayla met Tom. Look out and see the world. It takes everything we have to face it. Without a sound, we take a step. Inside our hearts are racing. I've known Tom since I was five years old, which is more than half my life. Probably what, 20 years? I don't know how old I am. 20 years? Something like that. Yeah, I've grown up with this kid. I've seen him come from being in the principal's office every single day at school to turning into the man he is today, which I don't know how he got here for, you know, <laughs> Kayla, obviously. Guys and girls are different. I don't know if you know this, right? We're, we're just different. Guys think, um, uh, let me woo and win and we get the trophy and we're like, yes, awesome. And we're done, right? So you're thinking, what can I do? To... And here's what a girl is thinking. If he has done all of this before we're married, how much more will it be when we are? But you're done. Guess what? <laughs> no. You're not. So this is my encouragement to you. Don't stop. Keep going, right? Ready for anything. I think Tom, when he met Kayla, um, he just loved Kayla. I think from day one. Absolutely day one. And Kayla would come over, and this is another story, I mean, as a mom, so they, because there's no place to go probably, so it was the bedroom. <laughs> I opened the, I would go and open and say, okay, Tommy, Kayla, the bedroom door has to be open. Even though nothing ever happened, it was like the bedroom door has to be opened. <laughs> Anyways, Tommy um, and Kayla, I mean, you're like a daughter, like, and you've been part of the family. And uh, you've made such a change to Tommy. Tommy's become more refined. More refined, more, cons <laughs> more considerate. Just, you've done a wonderful job. You've done a wonderful job. <laughs> George, my best man. There you go, bud. Say that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I wanted to save the paper. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Are you serious? Laura, when you were up here talking earlier at your speech, you had mentioned uh, how you would make Tom keep the door open when uh, Tom and Kayla were over. And it was too funny to, uh, you know, Keelan and I were on the other side of that where we heard all of Tom's stories of, uh, oh, mom makes me keep the door open. Uh, 
Laura, let me tell you, unfortunately it was not as effective as you think. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody watch for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I would be surprised if you, you put in a cherry seed and an apple tree group, right? That doesn't make sense, right? And so here's what I'm going to say. Plant hope for one another. Right? The power of words have life and death. So speak life to one another. Right? Look at one another and say, I believe the best in you. I believe the best in you. In fact, you'd be surprised if something happened that you go, that's not the Thomas I know. That's not the Kayla I know. That, that's not you. So speak those words. Plant those words. And that's what will grow. Tell us, you're gonna say I do. take you to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true... Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Thought I had it. <laughs> and my one true love. I take you to be my best friend, my faithful, faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and, and inspire you and inspire you and to love you truly and to love you truly through good times and bad through good times and bad I'll forever be there to laugh with you to laugh with you to lift you up when you are down to lift you up when you are down and to love you unconditionally and to love you unconditionally and to love you unconditionally <laughs> through all of our adventure through all of our adventure in life together in life together Thomas, a very important question here for you. Do you take Kayla to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and to cherish from this time forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, 
to keep you, to keep her only onto you until death shall part you. If so, say I do. I really do. And do you, Kayla, take Thomas to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and to cherish from this time forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, to keep to him only until death shall part you. So say I do. I do. And by the power vested in me in the province of British Columbia, I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> you may kiss your bride. Thank you all for coming and joining in with this celebration. I'm very proud of my daughter. It was raining today, so there's still... <laughs> Tom, welcome to the family. I couldn't be prouder. You're like a son to me. But anyway, I, I can't say anything other than awesome guys, proud. You know, having known them for so long, I'm, I'm aware that neither of them have been in a serious relationship with anyone other than each other, um, excluding probably like elementary school when I think you got married to someone else. Or, <laughs> um, I think that this speaks truly to just how perfect they are for each other. You guys are extremely lucky to have found each other so early on in life, um, and you should never doubt the fact that you guys are here today. Um, you're here because you guys want to be, and I know, having witnessed your relationship, that this will last a lifetime. Tonight is mere formality, only an announcement to the world of feelings long held, promises made long ago in the sacred spaces of our hearts. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Kayla Freer! Your love for each other has really always been there since the very beginning, and it's been amazing to see it grow <laughs> over the last few years. We know that the two of you have made a lot of compromises for each other, and it has only strengthened your relationship into what it is. Not only that, it's helped the two of you grow as individuals, and most importantly, as a couple. Your guys' relationship defines what commitment should look like. Today, for me, your wedding vows were merely a formality. I've already seen you guys thriving in your better and working through your worse. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if we can all raise our glass and a toast. We are all very excited to see you guys live 
a long and happy life together. Cheers to the career ons, everyone. <laughs>